I was first inspired to work with Crystal probably from 2010. I'd designed a product called the Decantalite, which is a simple product actually. It was a Crystal drinks decanter, uh, a vintage drinks decanter, which we cut the bottoms off, hand polished the edges, and then we turned them into pendant fittings, into light fittings. Um, it seemed to resonate with people, I think. The idea it takes them back to their childhood, their grandparents or their parents in the ways that you used to decant whiskey and brandy. And also, you know, a crystal drinks decanter is a very aesthetic product. It's very decorative, but essentially it's redundant. Nobody uses them anymore. So people like the idea that you would turn that into a light fitting. And essentially, the light shone on the glass, so it, it, it looks even better than it does with, uh, you know, brandy or, or whiskey decanted in it. So from this I had uh, the idea to explore working with Crystal and partnering it with another object, an everyday object. And I was trying to think of an everyday lighting object and of course the light bulb is the most iconic light object that there is. And the idea of putting the same cuts that you would have in a whiskey or brandy glass or a decanter into that light bulb seemed to work very well. It's it's kind of that mix of the decorative with the industrial that I like very much. So um, that's how I then started to develop the idea of, of hand blowing the light bulb from crystal. to work with Cumbria Crystal after seeing their products in Liberty and I thought that the quality of the craftsmanship of their glassware was impeccable and the fact that they are a British company and they're actually the sole remaining manufacturer of full lead crystal in the UK appealed to me. I've always worked with British craftspeople for all of my collections and all of my products. The most rewarding part of working with Crystal, I think for me, is seeing the actual process. Um, it, it reminds you of, of what a handcrafted process that it has to go through and that the people that create the Crystal Bulb are artists in their own right. I think working in Crystal does influence the design in some way. Uh, Crystal is a handcrafted process, so you're at the limitations of what people can do by hand. It's hand blown and it's, it's hand cut. So in that respect, it's not usually a mass produced item, but I wanted to create a product that we could create in, in multiples. So there were some restrictions there, and I think also in the, the tolerance of the glass, the weight of the bulb and also the fact that it had to have a light fitting put in it, you know, looking at the heat, resistancy as well. There were all important things to consider during the process. So there was quite a lot of prototypes that we had to make before we got the final finished product. I think for any designer seeing anything that's been in their head for a period of time actually come to fruition I think is always incredibly rewarding.